Good morning and welcome to today's class. And I think because it is a gorgeous summer day, just past the longest day of the year, let's start standing up. So we'll find Tadasana mountain pose. Checking your feet that they're parallel and hip width apart. And then standing up tall and finding something to look at way in the distance. So you are a tall mountain. Reaching down through the four corners of the feet. Drawing energy up your base. Lift your kneecaps. Hug your thigh muscles to the bone. Drop the tailbone. Draw the pelvic floor up. Draw the Lower belly in and up. Inhale, lengthen your side ribs. Exhale, tuck your lower ribs. Inhale, roll your shoulders up, back and down and reach your fingertips to the floor. Let go of anything you might be holding. Inhale, bring the chin in slightly. Exhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Close your eyes if you like. Gently rock forward and back. Gently rock from side to side. We talked about balance last week, so feeling how you come back to balance between rocking from side to side. Find that place of stillness, the weight balanced evenly on the four corners of your feet. And lift your toes up, spread them wide, and relax them back down. Open your eyes if you like, and we'll Take some nice, deep, sun-shining breaths, reaching down and stretching up. Exhaling, draw the belly in and up to press all the stale air out. As you inhale, press down through the feet and stretch up tall. Exhale, reach out, turn the palms and press down. Filling your belly, rib cage, and all the way up to the collarbones, and then pressing the air out, using your abdominal muscles. So we're strengthening our abdominal muscles. We're massaging our internal organs. We're bringing prana into our bodies. And let's stop in Tall Mountain just for a moment. Imagine you're in a shower of golden light pouring down in you and around you, washing away anything that doesn't serve you and let that light filter down through you and into the earth. If it's too much, put your hands down at your sides instead. Otherwise, reaching out the palms facing, feel the energy between your palms. And bring those arms back down, pointing your fingertips towards the earth. Imagine breathing up red earth energy. Feel that energy drawing up through your feet, your legs, your pelvis, your midriff, all the way up into your heart. And if standing this long is too much, please feel free to sit down. One more here, imagining your heart is the center of the universe, which it is, and like ripples out from a pond, feeling that light shining from your heart, taking a deep breath in, exhale from your heart, the lights filling the room that you're in, inhaling the light, exhaling from your heart, filling the city you're in, Inhaling the light, 
feeling the state that you're in. Inhaling the light shining from your heart, feeling the country that you're in. Inhaling the light shining from your heart, feeling the world, the planet that you're in. Inhaling, shining from your heart, feeling the galaxy that you're in. Inhaling the light and shining from your heart, feeling the universe that you're in. And one more big breath in. And let's melt down onto our mats. Finding a comfortable seat. Yeah, nice and tall, continuing with that sense of openness, of reaching out in all directions. Let's take some easy circles. and circle the other way. And come back to stillness. So our breath connects us with everything that exists. And we use the visualization and the breathing to deepen that to our awareness. The connection is always there to deepen our awareness of that connection. We're going to practice today with an awareness of our connection to all that is. Knowing that our world is a reflection of the presence that we bring to it. We're gonna go into Nadi Shodhana. So you can change how you're sitting. You can sit cross-legged or lotus or thunderbolt, whatever works for you. I'm gonna pick up one hand, right hand please, and turn that hand to face you. And bring the thumb to close off your nearest nostril. Inhale, close off both nostrils, release the thumb, exhale. Inhale, close, release the fingers, exhale. <coughs> so continue at your own pace. Intent here is for the breath to be slow and easy and deep, and the exhale to be at least as long as the inhale or longer. A natural pause at the top and bottom of the breath. And release on an exhale. Become aware of how you feel. We're going to continue our practice of moving with the breath today. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, as you lift the chin, feel the whole body expand. As you exhale, draw the belly in and up. Feel the body coming together. Inhaling, expand. Exhaling, a bit of a contraction. Continue at your own pace, dropping the belly as you breathe in. Drawing the belly up as you drop the chin and breathe out. Expansion. 
and contraction. Connecting the movement to the breath. Back to stillness, inhaling tall, here to one side, exhale, inhale, ear to the other side, exhale. Head is floating on the breath. Back to center, inhale tall and exhale, rotate the head. Inhale to center, exhale. Eyes be soft, like an extra set of lungs, breathing in and out, consciousness. Taking whatever's in front of you. And last one. And back to center. Inhale the shoulder up and exhale down. Change sides, inhale up and exhale down. Stillness for a moment. Let's bring one shoulder forward. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And we'll do the other side. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And both inhale forward. Exhale back. Big circles. Inhale up and forward, exhale down and back.
Inhale, push the wall away. Exhale, palms down. Push. Exhale, down. Push. Push. Circle the other leg. Play the piano. Make sure all those fingers are in there. Alongside the ear, pressing the palm up towards the ceiling, the other palm is down towards the floor. We're going to inhale, switch palms, upper palm is facing in towards the midline. Inhale, switching palms, stretching the side body, down floor, up into the sky. Inhaling, switch. Lifting through the side body as you press down into the hand and up into the sky. And switch. And inhale. One more time. And stretch over. Inhale around towards the floor. Inhale towards the floor. Back to center. Yeah. Up. Reverse over. Reverse the order. Inhale, reach over. Inhale, reach open. Reach down. Inhale, center. And over. Inhale, reach, stretch over. Inhale, rotate towards the ceiling. Rotate towards the floor. Back to center and down. Inhale, up. Interlace the hands, stretch up and rotate. Back to center and rotate the other way. Back to center and down. Use the cross of your legs. Use the interlacing of your fingers. Inhale up and rotate. And back to center and inhale, rotate. And down. Bring your hands behind you, interlace yoga mudra. Inhale up. And here we'll just hang in yoga mudra. Every breath. Opening of the heart and lungs, shining the face to the sun. And let's bring our legs into play. Let's stretch out those legs. Inhale tall. And squeeze and spread the toes with the breath. So let's inhale, spread. Exhale, squeeze. Spread, exhale, point. Inhale, flex and spread. As you point, draw the belly in. Let's bring the legs in. 
Bring one hand to the floor, the other hand to your hip. Inhale, lift and turn. Exhale back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sitting upright on both sitting bones. Inhale, lifting the hip and twisting. Exhale, back. You can stay with this or turn this into a half moon. Inhale, swing around and lift. Side stretch. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. You can stay with this or we're going to have a straight leg. Inhale, lift and stretch that leg out. Lift, exhale down, inhale, lift, last one, we can hold this one. And down. And come back to Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your knees and exhale lower. Inhale, lift your belly and spine, exhale lower. Inhale, stretch up, lift your chest, exhale lower. One more. And let's switch the knees the other way. Hand to the floor, hand to your hip. Inhale, lift and twist. Exhale back. Inhale, twist. Exhale. Inhale, twist. Exhale. Inhale, twist. Exhale. You can stay with that or add an arm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. I'm falling off my mat. Let me scoot back. Here we go. <laughs> Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Press those hips forward. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. And stay with that or add a straight leg. Inhale, lift, straight leg, press. And back. Inhale, lift. Inhale, lift, and inhale, lift, and last one, and we'll hold this one, inhale, lift, and hold, and down, and back to Bhada Kanasana. And inhale, lift, exhale, down. And release, stretch those legs out, circle the ankles. Over the back of the mat and child to take in what we've done so far, taking a few long, slow breaths here.
you know, you do a little flow series here. I'm going to inhale into table and exhale back into child. Inhale into table, exhale into child. Inhale into table. You can have your feet parallel. It's not a perfect child. But... Inhale into table and back into child. Let's add a dog tilt to this. Inhale into table, dog tilt. Cat stretch, dog tilt, and child. Inhale, dog, and we'll take a breath between each set. Draw the belly up, cat stretch, dog tilt, child, and take a breath. Here. Inhale. Dog, draw the belly up, tuck the chin, lift the tailbone, shoulders back, heart lifted. Exhale into child, take a full breath here. Inhale, dog. And exhale, cat, big lift in your back. Inhale, widen the collarbones. Exhale, child. Breath you can stay with coming into table and child or will come into downward facing dog. Inhale table and facing dog. Table. Dog tilt or during the facing dog. Uh, full breath here. Up pose or down the face of dog. Table, child, full breath here. Inhale, table, down the face of dog. Feel free to stay in table or child if this is getting to be too much. Table, and child, full breath here. And if you can, we'll do two more. Table, down with facing dog. Table, child, full breath. Last one. Table, down with facing dog. Table, and child. Take several breaths here to take it in. Inhale at the table. We're going to do a half push up or a half chaturanga. So it's going to be table, into chest, table, and child. Table, elbows hug the body, chin to chest, to the floor. If you can't come back up, then just scoot yourself back into child. Full breath here. Now table, elbows hug the body, bring the chin and chest to the floor. Inhale back up or just slide back if you can't come back up. We'll just do one more of these. One last one. Table, elbows hug, chin to chest. Come on back up. Woo! And child, take a few breaths here. And you can stay in child or come into squat for your transition. Elbow down, spine long, 
is a lovely stretch for your back. So here, little tips for gardeners coming up. This is a great way to be working in your garden rather than standing up and bending over and stressing your lower back. Sitting here, digging, planting. You're sitting on a block, but this is a great pose to be doing your gardening. Gives a nice stretch to your lower back and it's a natural way that your body is used to in you know the way your body was mechanics work this would be a great gardening pose okay coming into a forward fold so a lot of people garden like this and puts a lot of stress on their back not so good bring the hands to the back of the sacrum let's straighten it body and slowly come up. Coming into Tadasana that we practiced earlier. Inhaling our arms up overhead, reach your hand into the earth and stretch our hands up. Back center, roll the ribs towards the ground. Just a light slide over the whole body, just look at the rib cage. Inhale back to center, come on up. Inhale tall, stretch over the other way. And roll the rib cage towards the sky. Back to center, roll the rib cage towards the floor. Back to center, inhale up. So, another really good strengthening pose for your core is oops, into Tadasana. Bring your arms in front of you, and rest your hips back, and belly in and up. We're not moving with the breath right now because we're working on strengthening our core. We do want to lift that lower abdominal area to support our lower back and we feel our lower back nice and relaxed. A lot of the lower back pain comes from belly with weak muscles. We want the front of our body to do its share of the work, not all of the work coming from the back. Okay, and release. And we're going to do some nice um, flow series here because we're our main focus today is moving with the breath. It's just a little bit of uh, support for gardeners. Quarters <laughs> is the gardener's face. Okay. So let's bring our hands to our hips, bind our drishti, step the right foot back on the floor. We're going to do a little flow series here. So right now the legs are straight, the back foot can be at an angle to help you balance. You can be on two separate railroad tracks, right? Behind the other foot, so it's on track. Inhale up, feel the legs energized down into the earth the way we did at the beginning of class, and exhale down. As simple as that. Straight and draw the belly in and up. Press into the back heel, engage the back leg, going forward. Straighten. Inhale, lunge. Straighten. You can stay with that or the straight leg variation. We'll add a forward fold to it. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, forward fold over the leg. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, straighten both legs. Inhale, lunge. Draw the belly in for support. Exhale, stretch over that leg with the head go to your knee. Inhale, long spine length and stretch back up. Press into your feet. Nice. 
Watch out, draw the belly in. Exhale, long spine. Come on, the leg, let the feet go. Inhale, lengthen. All right, straighten. And step back to the back. Support. Other side, side by side, hips. Back. Not super far, but can be at a diagonal. Front knee is over the heel. Well, after starting the straight leg, so front knee is aligned with the toes. Find your strength. Just start with easy arms, grounding through the feet, kneecaps lifted, tailbone down, belly lifted. Nice core. Inhale up. Exhale down. Shoulder blades slide down the back. Chest broadens, breath deepens. Let's add a lunge to that if it works for you. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, as you straighten that leg, draw the belly in and tuck the tailbone down. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, straighten. Good job. Let's add a forward fold if that works for you. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, lunge over the leg. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lunge. Draw the belly in. Exhale, over the leg. Inhale, up. And straighten. Inhale, lunge. Draw the belly in for support of your lower back over the leg. Long spine. Inhale, back up. And exhale, straighten. Last one, inhale, stretch up tall, lunge. Draw the belly in, exhale over the leg. Inhale, reach. Exhale, straighten. Step forward, take it in. We're going to do stork for our balancing pose, and that uses our core muscles again. We need to hold on to something, please do. Otherwise, finding Tadasana, let's shift our weight over to the right, pick up our left heel, draw the belly in for support, tailbone down, reach your arms out, find your drishti, and if it works for you, bring that leg up. Focus on that core strength, core support. Down. Shift your weight, shift your heel, engage your core, find your drishti, press down into the earth and lift that foot if it works for you, or just heel off the floor. And that, and check it out. We're gonna try one more thing here. You can stay with any variation of stork or we'll try a stork twist. Again, twists are really good for your lower back. So standing up nice and tall, shifting your weight. Let's lift our left heel, reach the arms out, pick up that leg. If it feels safe to you, bring your hand to hold your knee and then begin to twist and what makes the twist Hard, of course, is that your drishti is moving. <laughs> so take your time rotating your head. Uh, 
and back to center. Good job, shake it out. Whew. That's a challenge. Come back to Tadasana when you're ready. Now we feel your heart beating mildly. I know I am. Feel settled enough to shift your weight, lift your heel, find your drishti. That leg up if that's available to you. Grab the knee. Keeping that belly nice and lifted, core support. Very carefully beginning to shift your focus as you spin your body. Good job. All right, shake it out and then come down onto your bats on your back. Take a few relaxed breaths here. Feel the breath moving all the way from your belly up to your collarbones as you breathe in. All the way back down. Let's roll the knees to face the ceiling. Let's bring one leg in and give it a hug. Flatten the ears back into the floor. And that lovely stretch in your lower back, which we will exaggerate in a minute when we hold both legs in. But we're lengthening the lower back slightly here. Releasing any tension in the lower back, but mostly we're, of course, working with the leg and the abdominal. And down. And bringing both legs in and giving yourself a hug and feeling the back relax into the floor as you hug the legs into your chest and maybe rock from side to side. So this would be a great thing to do to release tension in your back if you've been gardening. And then we're going to strengthen our abdominal muscles so that our back doesn't have to do all the work when we're gardening. So hands underneath your butt, inhale your legs up to the sky, draw your belly in and slowly lower your legs down. The slower you go, the more benefits you get. You might want to hang out with the feet just an inch above the floor. And then bring the knees into the chest. Now, if that's too much, you can just slide the legs down straight. So from here, you can bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, and slide your legs straight if this is too much. Otherwise, draw the belly in, support with your core. Slow movement, lowering those legs. Feel your abdominals working. Hang out here, hover for a few minutes, or a few minutes, a few breaths. And then bring the knees in, we'll do one more. Knees into the chest, stretch the legs up. Draw the belly in and slowly lower those legs down. Hover if you can, if it feels right to you.
Mm. And then bring the knees in and give yourself a hug. Within that stretch at the end of the stomach muscles be really nice. Little rock from side to side. And then we're going to strengthen the obliques. So let's press the knees away. So, okay, easy variation, feet are on the floor, your windshield wiper in the knees. More challenging variation, your legs are in the air, arms are out or in goddess pose. Drawing the belly in, we're gonna lower the legs down. And again, you can rest on the floor or we'll hover. Feel that lovely stretch. Inhale back to center. And lower the knees the other way. And rest or hover. Feel the belly pulling in to support you. Inhale to center. Exhale, over. You're also getting that lovely massage on your lower back once again. The closer your knees are to your chest, the easier it is, the further the legs are away, a little more challenging. Inhale up, and lower the other way. And inhale up. And you can stay with that or really challenging. Stretch your legs up. You want to have your arms all the way out because you really need to counterbalance the legs. And slowly lower the legs down to one side. You really need to draw the belly in for this one. Pressing your hands into the floor so that you don't roll over. They may not go all the way down. <laughs> This is a toughie. You can stay with the bent knee variation. And inhale back to center. Whew, good work. We'll just do this variation one time. <laughs> Lower the legs slowly, slowly, slowly towards the floor. Pressing into the arm to keep the legs from just dropping. Oops. <laughs> Try to keep the legs together. Inhale back up. And give yourself a hug. Good work. And we'll reward ourselves with a nice circling of the legs. And then we'll do one more easier one. Circle the other way. Okay, so we're going to bring our legs to right angles, arms goddess or stretched out. And we'll just bring one toe to the floor and bring it back up and bring the other toe to the floor. You can feel your abdominal muscles engage when you do this. So this is a real simple variation of or simple abdominal strengthener compared to all the other ones we've just done. And last one. And give yourself a hug. And while you're hugging yourself, think about how you'd like to do your inversion today. So this would be another great restorative for after your gardening, either just legs up in the air or putting your buttocks on a prop like a block or a pillow to give you that waterfall effect or putting your legs at right angles with the complete lower, complete lower leg on a chair or legs against the wall, so many options or if you have a shoulder stand practice, going into shoulder stand. So find your favorite way to do an inversion today, and we'll hang out for at least a minute.
And if you're doing the version that I'm doing where you're not supporting your legs, again, you've got some core work happening there. Pressing hips and shoulders into the earth and then reaching actively into the heavens. We'll do another minute. That's it, that was two minutes. Let's bring the knees in. Oh wait, I'm sorry. So the wrong thing. Another 15 seconds, good. And bring the knees in, give yourself a hug. And get what you need for comfort in Shavasana. And if you have back issues, you might want to have a blanket under your knees or a pillow under your knees, and that will help your back relax. If you find your mind wandering in Shavasana, here's a very simple practice you can do. Bring your awareness down into your feet. So what's been happening, your mind is wandering because your energy is up in your head. So just keep bringing your awareness down into your feet. And obviously that will bring your awareness down into your whole body and that will keep your mind from wandering. However, if your mind is drawn to any sensations in your body, allow that to happen because that's integrating the benefits of what you've done and letting your body wisdom register the new better way of being.
You can stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, begin to move your fingers and toes. And gently stretch in whatever way feels good to you. And when you're ready, roll to one side. Like a pillow with your arms. Blink your eyes gently to come back into the room. And make your way to a seated position. Namaste.